on tonight's episode, we review some of the tenets of good podcasting. Some of what? Some of the tenets of good podcasting. Oh, tenet. Yes, <laughs> we saw it? tenet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we talk about more news mm-hmm. of pop culture, mm-hmm. entertainment, yada yada yada. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> for the second week in a row, we got to go see a movie in a movie theater. Yes. Theaters are reopening. There's like mm-hmm. some some few options, some good movies, some yeah. studios releasing movies out there, uh, like they should, not like cowards, like cheap, greedy cowards like Disney charging <laughs> thirty bucks for a movie that you don't. Own. You can only access if you have subscription. Yeah. If they would, if they, if they, if they were selling the movie. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it's like thirty bucks. If they were selling like the four K version, you know, mm. movie, digital movie, Blu Ray, four K, I would buy it. Mm-hmm. But to to pay thirty bucks plus a subscription, nah, you can't wait. Do you think they'll release it in theaters? As uh, well, at this point, at it? this point, I, I don't see why. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's too bad. They might. I, I read some 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 note about some critics saying that mm. was, this was made for the big screen, but but, but then he also says that the movie kind of like eh. <laughs> yeah. So did you just want a bigger? Yeah. Ah. They, they's like, oh, they rewrote the movie. They changed this, 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 and that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's like. Asian culture, whatever, and it was made for the big screen, and, and I was like, okay. Well, that's confusing. Yeah, and there was like two lines. Anyway, Christopher, Christopher Nolan held out for the movie theater. It was totally worth it. Yeah. We've been waiting for this movie forever. Yeah, he's like his other movies, mm. he, he shot in 70 millimeter. On I, actual film. Yes. And you know, big, big screen, bigger than big IMAX, mm-hmm. and yeah. I'm not gonna release it on streaming. We're mm-hmm. gonna wait, and he waited, and he released. Uh, I, I think he, I'm pretty sure in Europe and South America, everywhere else, mm-hmm. it was actually even before the U.S. But we finally yeah, got here so. in the U.S. Yeah, and the movie is really good. Yeah, you did oh, it again. Fantastic. He, I, you know, I can't think of any duds. Let, let's okay. just put a note here. We're mm-hmm. going to try to give minimum spoilers, but... Spoiler ah! Yeah. Ah! You really just have to see this film. Yes. It, yeah. So... Greatly cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 the, the story is really, really well done. Mm-hmm. He created this another na- narrative universe Universe, yeah and it's amazing how we were talking yesterday how he created a a narrative universe universes and he created one and moves on yeah this one i think that in his inception with Mm -hmm. the dark knight trilogy uh even with the magic one prestige yeah yeah, but this one especially, there's a couple lines towards the end where he sets up what could be like two or three movies worth of like prequels or like a whole everything, but it's not gonna happen because. And I and and, and that's that's the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. I, 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 it's not necessary. It isn't. Oh my goodness, this movie is like textbook mystery box. Yeah. You know, J.J. Abrams talks about his mystery box that some things are best left unknown and it makes your story so much better this one they actually say like they'll, they'll ask questions because there's a strong science fiction element right this whole like going backwards in time thing not really time travel per se anyway the but first... they'll actually say like this is unknowable we don't know how this works we don't know what's going to happen whatever happens happens yeah and uh it's it's funny mm-hmm. uh the literally the first sequence of the movie mm-hmm. the guy grabs a box Yes. 
And anyways, uh, uh, yeah, it's not it's not about time travel, Mm-mm. but it is. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it, it's, that, not that's like, a it's not like it's not like Endgame time travel. No. This is a really different. Oh, Endgame was much was more like the worst example. Uh, sure, or like Back to the Future. Any other time travel? This one they actually like think through and talk about and explain some of like the paradoxes and 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 I don't know. This has just felt a lot more logical, a lot more realistic. Yeah, it's um, uh, it's uh, yeah, time travel mm-hmm. uh, for, for amateurs. Nolan did his own thing. <laughs> he did, and it was, oh, it was solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now and uh, and the cast is is uh, it's not time travel, it's inversion, and that's that's on the trailers, that's on yeah. synopsis everywhere. Uh, but the movie deals in, in another aspect of the the mystery behind everything mm-hmm. is the main character, the portrayed by John J- David Washington. He doesn't have a name. He doesn't. He is the protagonist. He's the protagonist. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. And another thing about him is like people like since the the announcement of the new Bond, people say, "Oh, we're gonna have a a Bond woman, a Bond black, a Bond Asian, a Bond midget." You know, to inclusivity and diversity, whatever. Mm-hmm. We don't need a, a black Bond. We need good writers. This movie is is James Bond. The guy is black, but it was, you know, it was right for this guy. It was right. He was cast for this role. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's it's a matter of writers. It's not a matter of rehashing, reusing, recycling a new character yeah. with a different race. If have they gave writers, him something new and incredible yeah. and unique that's just his. And it's, it is so his that I was thinking about mm-hmm. uh, some of the other characters uh, if I would recast, and mm. him is something that you can't. If you watch the movie, you're gonna realize that that guy, that movie, it's you know, it's so it's so connected that no, you can't recast. Yeah. Everybody else, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could. I could see sure. some 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 scenes uh, where DiCaprio could be Robert Pattinson, and uh, sure. And uh, what's or maybe the, even Kenneth Branagh. K- Kenneth Branagh could be Robert Pattinson. No, 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 DiCaprio could be. Yes, 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 yes. DiCaprio yes. could have filled that role. Yes. So, so, but John David Washington, he's he yeah. is the movie, he carries the movie, and the movie is great because he's great, and and he's great because the movie is great. So it's yeah. We're fans, is what we're saying. Yeah. This is only the second thing I've seen John David Washington in. The first was um, Black Klansman, but I like I, I'm a fan. If I see his name on the credits, yeah, I, I'm gonna watch the movie because he's both times he's turned in incredible performances. Mm-hmm. Um, working with big directors, big stories, and yeah, he just delivering. He delivers, yeah. And in short, if you see Washington, Denzel, or John David. <laughs> in general. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, General Washington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, what else can, can you talk about the movie? Oh, Robert Pattinson is there. Yes. The blonde lady uh, is there. And they both are really good. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And... Like any Nolan film, he gives you all the details, all the... It's my favorite kind of twist. Because there are a couple, like, I don't want to say twists or, like, shot, like big reveals or anything. You're like, oh, my gosh. But he doesn't hide anything from you. He gives you every bit of information you need. So if you watch closely and, like, watch for those details and pay attention to everything, it's it's all there. It's It's unbelievable. You can, like, scrutinize and analyze... I wish I could take notebooks actually into the theater <laughs> and sit there and like take notes during his films just to keep track of stuff <laughs> and like figure everything out because there I know there's more going on on that screen than what I was able to pick up on. Like I'm not smart enough for a Nolan film. I love it, but I know he's doing stuff that I'm not smart enough for. Does that make sense? <laughs> Sh- At all? Well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it, it, anyway. it's, it, it's really good. It's really great. Uh... Mm-hmm. In this, I think in this one, the the, the complexity, the, the narrative details are spread throughout the movie, mm-hmm. more like in in, in uh, Interstellar, 
Mm. Uh, I think it was more towards the end that this the whole uh, accord, the whole yeah, you know. Yeah, that one started out fairly straightforward, and then you're right at the end. We got like interstellar, mm, yeah. All the layers. And this one is spread throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. It's like from from minute one, uh, uh, from the first sequence, we get details. The guy mm -hmm. dies. But he doesn't die, mm -hmm. and then he becomes this. Uh, he's a CIA agent, so he's going deeper into this this uh, mission that deals with stuff that will save mankind for World War Three from uh, global destruction and yeah. and this magnificent fictional mm -hmm. aspect of how they deal with time technology from the future that make them invert things i would yeah. not even try to explain or, or, or tell no. but and that really seems to be like a central tenet of of nolan's storytelling like if you try to explain it you can't really but he still tells these beautiful complex but understandable stories and the complexity isn't a gimmick the complexity is yeah just part of Oh, yeah, it just makes the film so rich. I don't know. I'm just jabbering. Go see the movie. It's yeah. incredible. And he writes. I can't wait to see it again. That's another thing. When I walk out of his movies, like yeah. I already need to see it again. <laughs> and anyway. he writes characters. I mean, uh, the 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 people that work with him, mm -hmm. they do characters. They write characters so well because the characters are really really. You 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 get to know them and you you mm -hmm. you feel for them you know empathy or sympathy, and yeah. you know you like them or you hate them, uh, yeah. There aren't any throwaway characters. Yeah, no. Every everybody is important. Like everybody's important. Everybody's like fleshed out and developed and mm -hmm. yeah. Even if in the in the if if they're on the screen for I don't know, two minutes mm -hmm. or seconds. Uh, even Michael Caine is there. Yes. There's no Lamborghini, yeah. but he's there. <laughs> he is there. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> Great movie. All right. What else can we talk about? Oh, the music is is really cool. Yeah. And the, this the, Ludwig Göransson from he did the Mandalorian score most recently. And this whole time travel inverted time mm -hmm. uh, uh, messes or 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 you jump deep into this whole yeah. narrative thing so much that uh, I personally was thinking during when the music was playing, I was like, is this music converted? <laughs> yeah, I do. That's another thing. I need to go back and like, I don't know, listen or find the soundtrack and but that's, but that's, see if that, I can figure it out. But that's the interesting thing about when you do with music. With movie, not so much. It's like, if you, if you write a music and then you invert it. Mm-hmm. And you play it inverted. Isn't the inverted music the music? And making it was just part of the process? You mean like inverting it? Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so, but, but you can so, hear so like, oh, wait, you... here's here's this theme, and now here's this theme backwards. Composers do that all the time. Uh -huh. That's not like a new no, 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 idea. No. But... I'm, not, I'm saying, I'm saying a, a music that plays in the movie. Uh, it's like... Can you claim that that's inverted if the music that plays in the movie is that music? That you that lost me. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. That that the music that plays in the movie uh -huh. is 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 the music. Okay. If you wrote a music and you inverted mm -hmm. it, the music that you wrote wrote to be inverted mm -hmm. is just part of the process. It's not the music. I guess. You're still not making sense. <laughs> no, I, 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 it's yeah, like you're I, saying, like, the music. So is the music the music, or is it not the music? No, no, no. I'm, I, saying, I'm saying the music that plays in the movie. Yeah, the right? soundtrack. That's that's the music. Okay. The fact that the guy uh, inverted one music to make that music, uh -huh. it doesn't mean that the first music was the music, but the second music is the music, and the first is just part of the process. <laughs> It's just like a photography, you know. Uh, once you take it, it's yours. But if someone alters enough, mm 
Mm-hmm. It's it not the it's uh, one could claim that is not the same photography, and there's a famous case about the Obama poster. Uh, what was it? Yes, we can. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. That someone made a kind of a lithography of it, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, I think the original photographer tried to sue. But he couldn't because he altered enough. And with music, it does the same thing. If you change the music yeah. enough, you can use actually any music. Sure. Yeah. Anyways, but back to Tenet. Yeah. Is there anything else? I, I don't think we can say much more without seriously spoiling stuff. And, and I think you're right about not giving big spoilers. Yeah. No, it's, it's really good. Because uh, uh, it's an experience. It is. Yeah. And music acting, mm-hmm. and you sit on the edge of your seat because mm-hmm. you know it's like time is running and time yeah. is running inverted and <laughs> seamless effects. That's yeah. another thing, like any kind of special effect or no, it was really good. It's just photography it's is beautiful. They go yeah. to, to beautiful places in in Europe oh, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. in the ocean and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Go see it and support these theaters that are opening and maybe getting back to some some semblance of normalcy. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've also been watching it was like total, total mood shift. Um, but we are we all caught up now on Cobra Kai? Oh we almost close to the uh, to the end okay. of second season. So uh Cobra Kai mm-hmm. is a karate kid uh sequel series yeah and what's interesting about it is it's not new Mm-mm. it was uh produced and released it was produced by sony and released on youtube as youtube series mm-hmm. and youtube is still not big on on their series they actually canceled most of them was well, sold sold them off all, mm-hmm. all of them so netflix finally got it so the 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 power of distribution and netflix is showing this yeah. for a long time uh, the this obscure show on YouTube that people heard about, most people not even heard about, not even mm-hmm. watched it, uh, was released on Netflix and it became the number one in the planet. Everybody, everywhere, people is watching it and it's, mm-hmm. it's the part of distribution because the show is good. But the platform, YouTube, yeah, it wasn't able to... Mm-hmm. to Because uh, it wasn't just on YouTube, it was like, what was it, YouTube Red? Or whatever it was yeah, like the, the premium the, YouTube yeah, you had the, to subscribe yes to the, see the you paid, just the yeah. paid YouTube yeah yeah and but well, Netflix mm-hmm. is is a big hit and Netflix announced uh, they released both seasons mm-hmm. and they announced that they would make a third one and now oh, I nice. will not nothing of course I'm pretty sure they're gonna do mm-hmm. even more since the huge success yeah I think there's room for it yeah so far and it's fun it's really well paid it is. It pays uh, a homage to the the the, the mm-hmm. original show. It does, but in a really nice way. So I'll be honest. When I heard like Cobra Kai YouTube series, I had very low expectations for it. I thought it was just gonna be like some, you know, I, actors I, from the eighties reprising their only major roles. <laughs> Come on, he was in my cousin Vinny. Uh, and, okay. And and, and 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 Sensei Lawrence was on on what Back to School. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> low expectations. I was excited because because yeah. I saw I saw both both original characters. Because mm-hmm. one thing about uh, the the fourth character kid, yes, there's a fourth one with Hillary Swank. Uh, yeah, I like that one. The the fourth one is that uh, Pat Morita is there, but it's it, the, the, he moved away. So there's they mentioned Daniel. He mentioned Daniel, but mm-hmm. there's no Daniel. So. Uh, on this yeah. one, they f- they follow up on the characters from the original. Mm-hmm. And in the beginning, it's kind of cheesy. One is a complete loser, and the other one is a fantastic car dealership owner. Yeah, so Danny, Daniel San is, yeah, he's married, he has his gorgeous wife and two kids, and he's just living the dream he's got a big car dealership and he he kicks the competition and gives a bonsai tree to every customer Watch the yeah so at first i was so worried at first that he was going to be like kind of a sellout type character and everything would be a facade and it did it did look like he would be it, the bad guy it did because then on the on the flip side of that we have um we've got 
jo Johnny, right? Johnny Lawrence. Yeah. Um, Sensei Lawrence, who's just kind of a washed up handyman, alcoholic. So much beer. He drinks so much beer. Um, He's like very, very, very the underside of like underdog. Yeah. And kind of like Uncle Rico and Napoleon Dynamite, he's just kind of stuck in the 80s. Like, <laughs> if it didn't happen in the 80s, he's like, has no interest in it. And so, and so they made him out to be really sympathetic. So yeah, I thought it was, and I just thought that would be really cheesy if they did it that way. But yeah. they've actually delivered some pretty complex, interesting character development. And the really good thing is that they are, so far, they are balancing really well mm -hmm. the the old the original generation with the new generation yeah even though there's some aspects of some characters there are i was like i mean you have to enjoy enjoy the journey because if you stop mm -hmm. the things like oh, what the guy what's gonna happen with this guy he's a bad guy he's gonna be a good guy there's some clear good guys mm -hmm. but there's some good guys that have shady past and there's some bad guys that seem to have good heart yeah and i think i think sensei Lord or johnny or whatever you want to call him i think he's in that category like his heart's in the right place but he just he never had anybody who taught him or showed him how to be a mm -hmm. decent human being and so he's trying to figure this stuff out but he's also still really into cobra kai yeah what is it strike first strike hard no mercy yeah cobra yeah. kai never die cobra, yeah <laughs> and Daniel, he, he's still, he's still just like sweet, but also kind of stupid Daniel. Like he's got his temper problems, he, mm. but he's, he's trying really hard to, to live up to everything that Mr. Miyagi taught him. Um, yeah. And so I feel like if you, if you enjoyed Karate Kid, you'll probably enjoy this series. Yeah. They're doing a great job continuing everything that was good and wonderful about those movies, especially the first one. And, and doing a new generation with it yeah and there's a lot of karate yeah karate kid it was, mm -hmm. it's on netflix uh yeah mm -hmm. and it's number one so yeah you watch it so good so fun all right oh one thing about uh john david washington oh yes he was on tenet and nolan uh, declared that he would love to see him as john stewart uh the grand lantern the second third green lantern mm -hmm. uh yeah and well nolan yeah. said it sold i've been wanting a good green lantern movie for a while that yeah. character has not yeah. i think received the i'm not big a big screen fan. treatment that i'm not a big fan of john stewart the, the oh, sure. fourth third whatever green lantern for me he was always a sidekick replacement mm -hmm. uh but i mean I don't like when they treat him as us, the Green Lantern, you know. Oh. There's like two well, no of the guys the that come before. I mean, Hal Jordan lantern. is the Earth's Green Lantern. Sure. You know. some moment, In the books, some moments he had to, you know, do major jobs out in mm -hmm. space. And then they, they cast you know, these other guys. Some good. Stuart was a decent one. Mm -hmm. uh, Garner was a joke. Rainer was okay. <laughs> And then now we have two. It's a woman and a and mm -hmm. a Muslim guy. Anyways, uh, so if they if they put Jordan like the first and then make something with Stewart, I would be I would be fine. If John David Washington is making it though, or yeah. if he's portraying it, I honestly don't really care which. If it's John Stewart or anybody, I think he would do no, a great he, job and he would have to be John Stewart. Okay, well yeah, but I mean no, I'm he just could be saying. the new one. I don't know what they're yeah. gonna do. But but Nolan said he would love to see him mm -hmm. as John Stewart and yeah. I also I would see, love to see that. I could see that. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, speaking of superheroes, we lost Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. This past week. Uh forty two Black Panther, twenty one. Bridges, mm -hmm. among other things. Yep. Um, so he was 43. He passed away from um, cancer. colon cancer, yeah. It was revealed that he was actually suffering from this cancer for years. Yeah. Uh, including when they shot uh, Black Panther and some mm -hmm. of other films. Most of his movies. major films, yeah. Yeah. 
um, he was dealing with that, but I guess he's always been a very private, a private person, and yeah. he decided to keep that to himself and his family, and just make these, make these amazing films. Um, there have been a lot of very fond remembrances. I read uh, CNN had a great article with the director of Black Panther spoke about his experiences working with Chad Chadwick Boseman, and even said he'd been work. They had started working and brainstorming and writing a new Black Panther movie. Oh which, yeah, and I read yeah. that he was absolutely sure that he would be on the in the next Black Panther. Mm -hmm. He he wasn't. He was leaving the full list. He, yeah. he was not afraid of dying. Mm -hmm. And yeah. But it happened. It's sad. And uh, our sentiments to the, to, the, to the family and mm -hmm. friends and fans. Black yeah. Panther, uh, on the other hand, he's still going to be Black Panther. Uh, on Marvel, he's going to do this uh, series of animations. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's gonna be the voice of Black Panther. Oh wow! I mean, and they recorded the whole thing, so they could even use in some other known animated. Sure. Since they have his voice. As oh, Black that's Panther. gonna be so special now. Yeah. It would be cool anyway, but that's gonna be really special now. Yeah. <sighs> cool. Uh, speaking of animations, X Files. Yeah, they're gonna do gonna a spin-off spin animation. <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked so well for the original series back in the seventies. Oh, it was it was Star yeah. Trek, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you picked the best example. I sure did. Yeah. I sure did. Yeah. Not, not the groundbreaking animations that came from a movie and became as good, if not better, than the original. I'm not thinking of movies. I'm thinking of TV series. Live action TV series that then became. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about the original material becoming animation and the animation okay. becoming so good that it's as good or even better than the, the original. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and you pick, yeah, it's Star Trek. Uh, I love Star Trek. I know, but the animation it was a blast. Oh, yeah. Not always because they meant it to be, it wasn't always funny because they wanted it to be funny, if that makes sense. <laughs> sure. Anyways. Sure. Cool. But we'll see what... Do we know anything about it or just that it's happening? Oh, uh, no. No details. Okay. Cool. Um, Kenobi. We've heard some rumors slash announcement for I the first season I think it's almost Kenobi. quasi-official that mm -hmm. Kenobi is going to be a limited series. Yes. One season. That's it. A lot of the rumors we're hearing, though, is m more that it's going to... It's going to kind of have two different timelines... So like the the main timeline would be between, um, my brain just dropped. Between three and four, between Revenge of the Sith and, um, A New Hope, but there would also be flashbacks to like the Clone Wars, and some and even rumors that Hayden Christensen would be coming back as as Anakin for some of that for some of those like Clone Wars scenes, some mm -hmm. developing some stuff there. So, I don't know. Yeah, we'll so see. is Natalie Portman. Yeah, oh, who really? knows? Maybe Liam Neeson. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Well, Liam Neeson died right away. And I don't think they would go as back as that. Anyways, yeah. Maybe not go that far back, but Liam Neeson coming back as Qui-Gon to teach Obi-Wan on Tatooine. Oh, the ghost. Yeah, that's yeah, the true. first ghost. That was actually planned for episode three, but they uh, yeah. scratch it. Just too bad because it's implied so heavily. Yeah, it's not implied. You actually mention him. So you're gonna be teach by, you ought to tell him. So you're gonna oh be yeah, by yeah. Your that's, master. That's not implying. That's just saying. Yeah. Okay. Um. Also in the Star Wars front, we've got an announcement for a date for the next season of Mandalorian. Yes, October, first. It's first. No, thirtieth. Thirtieth. Yes. No, the first. It's special because that's my birthday. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, August, I mean, third of <laughs> October 30th. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, everybody is excited. And yeah. I was honestly worried that this would get delayed for a while. So, I'm surprised and happy. And now if Halloween gets cancelled because of COVID, we have the Mandalorian. Yeah. So, that's good. Um... Powerpuff Girls is getting a live action series? What? Yes. Tell me more. They will be actors and actresses. 
Oh. And there will be people, not animation. Interesting. Yeah. I'm having a hard time seeing this. I don't know. But they did. I think they did a really good job with Ben Tan. <laughs> I'm kidding. I never, yeah, I don't know. I never saw that. Not, not the show, not the animation. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well. Fun. We'll see. I don't know. Kids enjoy. Yeah, yeah. the cartoon is cool. Toys to sell and fat costumes mm. to make. And I, I don't know. Costumes, yes. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. What else is going on? Uh, what else? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air is <laughs> getting a reunion at HBO Max. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be like a like a sit down reunion. Yeah, one not time doing like special. an episode or anything there. Oh, is it? It's a sit down. Yeah, like the actors are coming back together to talk about the show. Ah, really? Yeah. I thought it would be. It's more a... like the Survivor reunion show. Uh, no, I thought it would be like an episode. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, let's see what's going on with Will after so many years. <laughs> okay. No. So it's like more like remembering. Yeah. The good times. Talking about like the impact of the show, the role of the show. It kind of sounds like they're setting up for the reboot. I, I guess Maybe. that's a good that's a good chance to have yeah. a good opportunity to do that. Okay. So yeah, but that's the thing. That's another happening. show, another show getting a reunion is West Wing. They're gonna get one oh, yeah. time special mm -hmm. for the elections. Yes. They, you know, calling people, incentivating mm -hmm. people to go vote. Yes. And yeah, they're on the cover of the. Entertainment, Entertainment Weekly, Weekly mm -hmm. this week. I didn't read it yet. Uh, I don't know. By the cover, it sounds like he's dead. Doesn't he die at the end of... No, he leaves. Yeah, Jimmy, I mean, he Jimmy leaves Smith, us, but like... Jimmy Smith becomes yeah. the president, the first Latino president. And then he leaves. Uh, the first, the, the last shot is he looking down to the Lincoln Memorial and to the uh, Air Force... Marine. Yeah, Marine One. The Marine helicopter. One, the helicopter, yeah. Yeah, but like his health had been declining pretty. Oh, he was really sick. He had a mass. MS, yeah. Uh, so, okay. so that's right. That's why, that's why I thought that. Yeah, he didn't he die. He didn't die, but, but it was implied like. That he could die soon. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Okay, so. But he will be involved. So. Oh, well, that's good. I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe this was right away, right after. Which mm -hmm. would not make sense. No. Yeah, everybody looks different. Yeah. And from that cover, it doesn't look like they tried to. Yeah. To. Anyways. Make them younger. West Wing. Yes. Uh, special. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, on HBO as well. Yeah, um, if you didn't get enough Tiger King, fear not. That freaking Carol Baskin is running for president. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she's just running as VP. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, what a world we live in. She, ra she ran four years ago. Anyway, no, she's running for America's Next. What's the, the show called? Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the yeah, Stars. Yeah, she's, she's one of the stars. She's gonna. Meow, 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 so. meow, 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 meow. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> think, of, think of the gifts we're going to get from this. The memes, <sighs> the flower crowns we're going to get yeah. from all this. So I think anyway. it's a pretty pretty clever strategy from, you know, uh, ABC mm -hmm. capitalizing on this huge streaming hit. <laughs> Uh, it was it was big. It was. It, it was it's a, big. A, it's the bizarre. topic of conversation of everybody. Yeah. Uh, everywhere. So they're gonna get that thing that was really big on streaming and bringing to broadcast bring TV. To Maybe we for the hope that some of the people will come together. You I know? Don't know. Do you think they'll dance to one of his songs? Oh, that would be epic. I don't think it's <laughs> it'll gonna be happen. terrible. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah. I don't think his music are very danceable. I mean, this would, would There's a lot about debate. that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Carol Baskin and a lot of other people, including Nelly, and yeah, I I I just saw that. I was like, huh, okay. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Um, bad news. Robert Pattinson has tested positive for COVID nineteen, and that's delaying. The Batman filming. Yeah, that stopped the production of, mm -hmm. of Batman. 
And the irony, you know, the Batman from China. Oh my gosh. Created the (laughs) virus and that stopped the Batman. Oof. Yeah. What a world. It's a sick world of life. Yes. But a different Batman, Kevin Conroy, has just done a voice for Waze, which is a, a driving directions app. So you can have. Even though we might have to wait a while for Robert Pattinson Batman, you can't have Batman in your car telling you where to go. Yeah, don't get lost. Use the Dark Knight as your <laughs> as your guide. Yeah, I, it makes me almost want to download. Turn this. right, turn right, Gordon, turn right. Oh, you know Gordon, turn turn right, first. <laughs> uh, fun times. Yeah. All right. What else we have? What else? Um, oh, mom. Mom, uh, CBS show Mom with uh, Alison Janney mm-hmm. and Anna Faris is losing Anna Faris. Yeah, she's, and she's gonna kind of a leave big the, part the, show. Of the show. She is the mom. We have two moms. Mom. Yeah. She's a mom. She is, if anything, she is She is the main part of the show because it's about a mom. Mm-hmm. Alison Janney. No. Oh. The, uh, Never Anna mind. Faris. That has a mom. Alice and Janney. And has a kid that's becoming a mom. I mean, at least was that in the beginning. Yeah. The, the kid is long gone. Yeah. But she's she's leaving the show. Okay. And a yeah. show that has a big hit on CBS. It, mm-hmm. It's yeah, very successful. They're going to have to go through some changes and... Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how they... I mean, there's plenty of other important. At this point, they have a lot, they have a, a, a lot of other characters. Yeah, so there's a lot of other ways they can go yeah. with that. Maybe like build up some of the other, um, spend more time with some of the other women in the group. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, but yeah, know. most likely they will not recast. So mm-hmm. they're probably gonna write her off. And yeah, yeah, at this point, it'd be weird to recast. Yeah. That role. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully they will, yeah, write her off mm-hmm. well. Not gruesomely killing her. Yeah. But. Well, I, I think know. you get her, I think it'd be nice to see her, you know, get a, get a job as a lawyer or paralegal or something. Yeah. You know, in have North, have a good career opportunity. Yeah. Or in like, I don't know, North Carolina. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Washington. Far away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they don't have Skype. Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> well, well. So, yeah. anything else? Oh, I think that's a lot. Okay, so that's it mm-hmm. for this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, we see you next week when we're going to talk about more news of pop culture, movies, mm-hmm. TV, games. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the meantime, go see Tenet. Yes. And go see Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah. Yeah. Wear a mask. We'll go up be there. Good. Wear a mask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have fun. May the force be with you. Move on and prosper. Bye. Bye.